my name is EJ. We're going to have an entirely edited and thought out scripted video for you guys today. This is going to be huge. Not even talking about what's on the screen. This will be coming up soon. It's going to be kind of an interesting project, but whatever. I'm talking about Minecraft's battle uh, battle minigame mode and its maps we're going to be ranking them from worst to first or worst to best or not so good to pretty much good i guess i don't know um this took me hours and i'm not gonna lie hours of time to make this video it was super difficult so if you know you don't mind make sure to hit the like button if you dislike the video though after watching the entire thing the dislike button's there for you as well and you know i could do some more videos on battle minigame or maybe maps or whatever um so you know give me your feedback in the comments comments are the best way to you know talk to me and stuff so any ideas for obviously classes for this mode <laughs> um yeah that was cringy but whatever um, anyway, let's get into 21 maps. We have 21 maps to go over, and I'll try to make them as short and detailed as possible. Some maps I'm not going to have too much for because of, they're just really difficult to kind of talk about, I guess. I don't know. I mean, some maps are very difficult to talk about because there's just not much to them, really. But, um, let's get into it, I guess. And coming at number 21, we have Halloween. Now you're probably saying, and by the way, for each different map, I'm going to be having as background gameplay because honestly, getting gameplay of the maps was way too hard. Seeing how like, if I didn't have multiple people with me, it would be just way too hard because of map voting and everything like that. So we're just going to kind of have gameplay of different maps that I have. Not really gameplay, but just like, you know, walking around or whatever. So, anyway, coming in at number 21, and this is Treetops, this is an old map, kind of an interesting one, we're just going to kind of walk around it, but anyway, number 21 is Halloween, and I'm probably saying, but DJ, why Halloween, why it possibly would you put Halloween as the lowest ranking spot? Now, it's honestly not that bad of, um... A map until you add all these other things and the worst thing about it is the texture pack I know it's supposed to be Halloween themed but the Halloween texture pack really really sucks now the map ugh, it's just so boring to play there is a, an area the max the um chest that gives you the best loot is actually in the ferris wheel which kind of sucks to get to because you have to like do some weird parkour but what i like to do is just go straight for that and then obviously get the best loot and just end the game as quickly as possible so i don't have to play it um that's what i usually do but you know well i usually don't do it but i'm going to start doing it as much as possible because it would help me so much and we can actually have fun instead of playing Halloween but anyway yeah um and just in the gameplay I'm forgetting the parkour it's super annoying there's like another chest in here I think I don't know maybe but um yeah <sighs> literally everything about Halloween sucks um like for instance the texture pack the music in the actual texture pack the music like the, the music of the texture pack itself really sucks the layout of the map um the feel of the map the and if you have ever seen like pictures of halloween or you just like when halloween and just looked around you'll know how cluttered it looks and how like disgusting and all like bleh, it looks it is super disgusting just like looking at the map itself it just it just doesn't look good at all it looks terrible but yeah 
it's just not good at all. And, um, yeah, and, um, <sighs> did I mention the texture pack? And I don't know if, whenever somebody picks Halloween as the map to play, I, I question if they're doing it as a joke or not. I don't know how much Doritos and Mountain Dew they had to be eating at that time to pick freaking Halloween. It is garbage, and it is absolutely, it just should be, it should be made to where it's a lot easier to traverse, it's easier on the eyes, it's easier to play, there's, the chests aren't all, like, hidden and stuff, I don't know. Um, that, the little piece of sh I meant that person that picked, ho that keeps picking Halloween. I don't know who it is, but I always get people like that who just pick it. They need to be immediately, like, sent to the hospital and checked out because they need absolute help. And, yeah. I'm not even joking. This map is the new transit. It is that bad. But, yeah. Oh, boy. And coming in at number 20. And, yeah, we're only at number 20. And, by the way, the gameplay, I didn't really know what to pick, so I just did Shellac Rune and, and whatever. Anyway, Atlantis. And, honestly, this map would have been number 21, but the reason that it's better is because Halloween has the texture pack, the music, the everything. It's just absolute garbage. Um... Honestly, it's not very good. Um, I don't know what it is, but whenever I play Atlantis, it freaking just it it just doesn't work. It just I can't deal with the map. It is really, really bad, and honestly, should just get change it should get made into a actual atlantis map the main reason that it's this low is because it's disappointing it could have been a, a nice water map it could have been you know anything but it, they chose it to be that <sighs> um anyway um Can we just sit down here? It barely has any underwater parts. Okay, that's really bad. With the ex exception of a couple places. The map has really changed, though, due to 1.13 update with how, you know, the water stuff works and... Uh, but... Not really physically, but I guess it is physically, but well, the way that you swim makes, you know, the map a lot easier to traverse and stuff. And speaking of traversing, um, when I walked over and first played the map and traversed my finger to the square button to, to pick the map, and it just, it just broke. It was disgusting. It was terrible. And I don't know. It was just a huge disappointment, really. But, um... Yeah, that's why this crap is at number 20, and I hope that they make another water-themed map that's actually better. That maybe you would get, like, everyone would have a turtle shell, or, like, the effect of a turtle shell on them at all times. And just have a ton of parts that are, like, underwater. I don't know, anything to make the map actually viable and fun. Like, really? Come on, Treyarch, what is this? Anyway, that's Atlantis. I, I don't even know what to say anymore. Clocking in at number 22. Just kidding. It's not even 22 maps. Nin number 19 is, um, is Medusa. And to be perfectly honest, to be perfectly honest for you guys, Medusa isn't that good. I don't know why, but I just really, the one day I just felt like, 
why is Medusa not that good? I just, I never really understood the problem with Medusa. I understand, I know, like, there's obviously, I will tell you the problem, when I, why I really dislike it in the first place. But, one thing is, it could have been an actually good map, like, um, Atlantis would be a nice, you know, literally anything would be cool. Medusa's a weird kind of theme for a map, but, um, yeah, it just really is weird, but, um, I don't really know, but, crazy fact is, Medusa is just an Atlantis but it seems like with more water. The middle's actually, we gotta be really honest here. The middle is the only redeeming factor of this map. This would be 100% number one if it wasn't for the middle. This has to be one of the, maybe not most thought out middles, but the actual cornucopia, the middle, the center, whatever you want to call it, is super duper cool and fun because it's like, it's, re it's just really good. I, I really enjoy it. It's a really interesting concept. It's, re it's just cool. One thing that I don't like, though, is how it's really just a mix of a bunch of different maps. Cavern, seeing how most of the chests are at, on the outside edge, and you can just go, like, stay along the walls. Atlantis, for obvious reasons. And just, I, I don't know, it's just really not that good of a map. I don't really know how else to put it. But that's number what 19 we have a lot more to go through so ooh, this is gonna be fun oh <laughs> i guarantee no one thought i'd put a um, fallout map at number 17 this low on the list but it's capital this is officially the worst fallout map and i've really thought hard thought long and hard of atomics love retaliation capital and honestly we'll get you to the most redeeming factor of this map but the one thing that really does make this a good map is how easy it is to lose people and this is not really a bad thing because obviously it's nice having to have you know or having the ability to kind of like you know just go out of sight because it's so messy and stuff and honestly it really does really does break my heart that they didn't make like diamond city here this would be so cool to see um i'm currently trying to work on a fallout map that's like in this in diamond city i guess this is diamond city um but yeah it really does it's a shame that they didn't kind of work on the map a little bit more but um i really do have mixed feelings about this I don't know, the middle is just really crazy though. It's either you're staying, like, running around, trying to run and gun everywhere, and stay on the out outer edges and stuff, and kind of just crisscross through the map, or you're staying directly near the middle. I like to stay in the middle because that's really the only place that I can figure out, mostly. Um, everything else is just kind of cluttered and stuff, and it's really weird and annoying, but... I don't know, it's... It's just gotta be this way, man. Capital has to be this low, and I'm sorry to do this, but Jaden, the map really does suck. But yeah, he's a big Fallout fan, but whatever. So that's number what 17, man. We're getting no. I think this is eight, 18, 18. Messed that up. Anyway, moving on. So I got one question. Where are we dropping, boys? <laughs> Oh, uh, no, anyway, dropping in at number 15. Wish we were that far down. I really did. Number 17, though, hmm, is Invasion. And I gotta be perfectly honest, the Force Moon Crush really, really sucks. But Invasion, number 15, is based on a city being invaded by aliens. That's why I thought this would kind of be cool. The map really does not do anything cool or fun, and it's very boring, and it's kind of just a really failed opportunity. This is the only map that we have close to anything space-related, and it's stupid. It really is stupid. Having kind of just like 
see this being so freaking low on the list. I, it, I don't know. It really, really sucks, but I don't know about you guys. I've been waiting for a space theme map for a while, and... Ooh. I guess this is what I wasn't expecting. Um, there's a map that I've been working on for a long time, and it's called Gravity. It's basically a space station, but the map doesn't work at all, and it's really, 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 really not that good because it's just very boring and doesn't have a good use for what I like to do, and it's, I, I don't know, it just doesn't really fit um, survival games that much, so, uh, yeah. The middle is also really bad. I dislike the middle a lot. And f f falling, man, I hate falling all the time. Falling is, I, it, everyone does it, man. I've died, like, I wasted two lives because I had two lives one time and I wasted them all on, um, you know, falling. It really does suck, but that's about it. It, the map, just don't play the map, it's really not that good. I haven't actually seen too many people that said they really do enjoy, they honestly really do enjoy the map. I've never really seen that happen before. Somebody is bound to like it. I don't know who, but somebody is bound to like the map. I dislike it, it's not that fun, it's alright. I can I can stand playing it, it's just not multiple rounds, that's for sure. Anyway, moving on. And, um, coming at number 16, we have, I think this is 16, yes, yeah, 16, we have, um, we have Ruin. Um, I mean, it, it ruins, you know, I would say from this point on, maps are good. They're playable, viable, and actually, I do have fun on Ruin. Everything below this is really not that fun at all. This and up, actually, things are alright. This is actually a good map. This maybe should have been a, just a tad bit higher. But Ruin has um, something that I never really see often. The very opposite effect of most maps. So most maps, there's always going to be someone who camps the middle. Um, I do it sometimes on some maps, depending how overpowered camping the middle will be um, some maps like shipyard it can be very interesting and you know very overpowered but this map has a uh, effect it's the middle's actually not that good to stay in rune has a decent amount of chests laid all over the place and it's similar to cavern in that way it's actually kind of open you might not think about it but it is actually quite open the video, the video, the middle, I had this on video, I think. I was camping the middle, which I never do, but I did this game. And what I did was, I camped the middle pretty much the entire game. I don't know if I had this on video or not, I think I do, but whatever. But I got killed by a bow. The middle is super vulnerable to bow attacks because of that reason. It is closed up. It's nice and closed up. But the problem is it's really, 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 really open at the top area. And you can get super duper high in this map. I'm not even joking. You can get, I mean, not really that high, but you can get elevated to a decent distance for what the map is. It's interesting, I guess. Um... It's, it's, you know, it's it's something all right. It's a map that I really don't dislike playing, but if I had to pick, it, there's a good chance it might not be this map that I pick. I do pick it sometimes, once in a while. I, I do really much, pretty much forget about this map every time I pick a map to play in Battle Minigame. Excuse me. But, man, I don't know. I Some... Some people really dislike this map and call it one of the worst maps of all time. It's alright. It's alright. That's why it's coming this, I, I, I guess, this high. I don't know. Anyway, moving on.
number 15 it's got to be atomics and i know i'm putting another follow map super duper low on the list but i thought i'd go back to clash royale because it kind of resembles something which is some spots and i guess this is kind of like very opposite right here are actually like holes that you can camp in i've seen this a lot but atomics is very vulnerable to this kind of thing and it really just annoys me how much it happens and it's kind of stupid but atomics uh another fallout theme map you know it's so not actually um it came in the fallout map pack obviously but this one has an interesting middle though it's a crater so instead of having an elevated one like something like capital or something like mm, I don't know, something like that. It is actually in the ground. It's not that big. It's like five blocks deep. I don't even know if that's how deep it really is. But um, There's the beast mode chest, the really good chest, which is actually... I usually try to go for it as much as I possibly can, but it, this thing has something interesting going for it. It's very unpredictable. I've never seen it. It's the 15, number 15 spot, which is kind of weird. But uh, it's very unpredictable. You would never have predicted that this would be this, you know, this on the list, I guess. I don't know. It's, it's, um, I don't know. It's, it's just so unpredictable. That's really why it's good. And, whoops. Um, this has some nice parkour going on for it, though. I have, there's a couple places that I could think that has them. Mostly the top area. I've seen a lot of people go up there with knockback swords and stuff. Knocking the crap out of people and just, it was so good. Um, so, it, that's good, I guess, but, I don't know. Atomics is a good map. Not an amazing one, though. I, one thing, more and more thing I would like to add, though is um the map can be very very fun if you have a full player um list at least five players or more it'll be very very fun but other than that uh moving on i guess and at um number 14 i'm gonna have to pick festive why this has been so mean to me and obviously we're on snowfall because are you are you dumb but, um, yeah, this map has been so, so very interesting throughout the the, the lifespan of the map itself. And I, I don't know how to think about this map. I don't know what to think about it. Before, this would have been a lot lower. This would have been a lot lower. And I tried to kind of keep it down there. I tried to not really like it. Then, I started making festive maps, like festive... Um, texture pack and I thought saw that this is a really good texture pack I really do actually enjoy it the weapons are kind of cool I like how the swords are they look and I like how all the items are basically the same only thing I don't like about the texture pack is the actual like armor festive the music isn't that good um the music in the actual texture pack itself just normal without the battle minigame um you know without how do i put this the actual music in just a normal world is better than the actual battle mini game you know map itself but um honestly with the uh, main workshop being the middle oh with the main workshop being or the workshop being the main place that people go it's kind of interesting um the middle it's very different because it only has four chests it's very crappy because it only has four chests if you have a lot of people if you, especially if you have more than eight you're gonna have a horrible time because a lot of people are not gonna be able to find chests if you're an experienced player or you just really know the map it can be very nice and it can be very generous to you and you can really have a fun time playing festive but i don't know i thought it was just kind of interesting um but uh also the caves i never really go in there but it's a really nice area to go in i like to whenever i'm in there i kind of have a nice time and it's 
really cool looking, but uh, I guess we're kind of getting off topic. Whatever. Um, that's that's number fourteen spot. Uh, I, if you haven't played Festa that much, I would give it a chance. I didn't give it a chance. I straight up put it low. Just said no. Your garbage map. Get out of my way. I'm gonna play something else. Like you know. I'm not going to spoil it, but everything else that's higher than this. Layer, Cavern, Cove. Um, what else is higher than this? Uh, Valley, Libertalia, whatever. Stuff like that. But if you give it a chance, and really do think about it, I would actually consider playing maybe five whole rounds of it. It can be an alright map. That's not saying it's an amazing map, though. I might even say that Ruin might be slightly better in some cases. I just, at the time of putting the script together, I did really liked it. And now that I'm thinking about it more, I don't know. I kind of have mixed feelings about both of them. This should be higher, though, because of its, you know, it's Christmas. It's cool, but whatever. Moving on. I guarantee you, $1,000. No one in their right mind would have thought Valley, one of my most hated and despised maps, would have been this high on the scale of mappiness. Now for the gameplay that you're seeing, this isn't actually a map, this is just the... I forgot that I had the entire texture pack and everything. This is just the world. This is number 13 though. Number 13. Um, so, kind of a unlucky number, but whatever, we're not going to go to that. We're going to go to, we're going to go straight to China with this one. Um, but yeah, this, this, going back to when I first bought Valley, I despised it. It was my least favorite map. It would have been, like, Halloween would have been a freaking dream compared to this. Now... I would any day pick Valley. It is honestly really interesting because I still don't know most of the the um, chests, but the it's just so fun because there's not many chests, and it's really really open and just nice. And if you want to camp, there are places that you can camp. It's very viable for any type of player. It's really awesome. And I, if you haven't played it or have never played it, go into a lobby and. Or if you haven't, just buy it. You get the texture pack and everything. It's it's kind of interesting. The dragons are also a good part about the um, map itself. I like kind of camping on the dragons a little bit and kind of sniping people. It's it's really fun. But man, number thirteen, Valley. Wow. How? Anyway, um, Valley is really good map. It it. It's not going to get much higher than this, though. It really isn't. I would honestly... If they, if it had to go higher, I would just... I don't know. Uh, if they change it to where there's more food, because I've seen to always run out of food, that would make the map a lot better. But, yeah. Anyway. Um, moving on. Um, yeah. Uh, number 14 is Lair... If you don't, this is obviously going to have to be this map because this is the closest thing that I could find to layer and it's super darn close, I will tell you that for sure. Um, it's a map. Set inside a volcano. I like that. I like that idea. You're in a volcano. And what else is in a volcano? That one spot. I don't know where it is, but it's in this texture pack and map or whatever but that's not what we're here for we're here for the goods we're here for layer which is a really interesting map the middle has to be one of the most balanced middles it's not garbage like um, ruin but it's not overpowered like shipyard it is perfect basically it's nice and open, but you still get some cover, and it is so fun to just snipe back and forth. One person's in the middle, one person's at, like, one of the, um, skeleton things, but... <sighs> they had a, once again, a 
great opportunity to make a map. They kind of failed at some parts, but in other parts, they really succeeded. It's a good map, but I would have liked to have seen something else with the volcano. Maybe as just like the middle is the volcano and then everything else is just, I don't know. Um, at least it's not bad though, because that would have just made it. Overall though, one of the most balanced centers of all time. Oh, um, well, also, can we just talk about how many times that I've won in this map? A lot. And if I don't win, I usually don't say, oh man, that guy sucks. I usually fall into lava. That's how I lose. That's how I die. I fall into lava. I think I've done that more than I actually die by players killing me. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Anyway. Um. I tend to also go out of mid. This is the thing that really sucks. The middle's great to stay in. It's great for everyone. It's great for you, great for the other players. They get a nice vantage point. You get all the loot. So it's kind of like a high risk, high reward. But I tend to go out of mid. I used to kind of stay in the middle and never leave because I thought it was overpowered. But now that I know it's not, and now that I know that kind of going out and kind of running around is also viable in the map. I don't know. It's interesting. I think this is what, number 12? Topping off all of the Fallout maps, and number 11 is Libertalia. Why is this the best? Well, it's an actual... Don't, don't freaking kill me for saying this. It is an actual water-themed map. Are you insane? How could you go from Atlantis being super freaking like filled with nothing but no water it literally has no water in it basically except some little parts this map has freaking tons I haven't really drowned in it but that's not supposed to be the point it's supposed to slow you down it's supposed to make an interesting parkour map and I usually do tend to do well because I'm actually good at parkour and in this map I tend to do even better than I usually do don't know why but it's i'm not complaining though i'm not complaining anyway um libertalia very very nice map i will say that very nice map um one thing that i do want do want to kind of get through is um now there's one slight problem that i have chests just like one was the valley. I usually didn't. I used to not like it because there's no chest. Now I do like it, no matter what, how many chests it has. This map feels like it doesn't have too many chests as well. Now, quick reminder: I'm going all, all these maps and going off off of the auto map size because that's how. If you don't play on auto map size, you really need some help. I mean, I'm not even joking play on auto so it's always the same it's the original state of how the map was supposed to be played and wow man it feels like this this is a it's a fun map but I don't know I could I couldn't say some bad things about it it, it I don't know I do tend to kind of stick to a more passive um, play style so I'm not really going for kills, but if someone attacks me, then I'm going to go straight for the kill. So, like, I'm playing, like, up, like neutral. So, I'm not going to go straight for the kills and go, like, all out, like, let's go on a full war, just killing everyone, a killing spree, not playing super aggressive. But if someone hits me, I'm going to play pretty aggressive. Or if somebody tries to attack me or is rushing at me, then I'm going to be playing a lot more aggressive. That's how I usually play the map, and that's how I feel like it should be played. It is kind of neutral. If someone pounces on you, then you pounce harder. If somebody tries to run away, you run away harder, faster, I guess. That's just, I don't know, just my two cents, I guess, but... That is number 11, so we're going to crank into the number 10 spot. Ooh, this is going to be interesting and kind of 
um, messes some people, I guess. <clears throat> Number nine will also make some people kind of questioning. And this is a even same way with Crucible. It's either you love it or you hate it. Love it or hate it, Dig is gotta be one of the most interesting maps to ever come to Minecraft Battle in history. Mainly because of middle being also kind of like what ruin. It's really, 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 really. Let me actually. Okay, there we go. There we go. Just had to fix that. Really, 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 really underpowered compared to everything else. I forgot to mention this, but Crucible. We're on the same map because I just want to kind of make some cool stuff in this. It's. Something that I've been working on, I don't know, it's just kind of a side project. No, it's not super important, trust me. But, um, anyway, uh, basically, how I feel about, um, can't think of the name, Dig, is kind of mixed. I have mixed feelings about it, mainly because it's. It just doesn't really do something that I want it to. It's fun. It's super duper fun. But the middle kind of does some interesting things where most of the time you're going to be stuck. And you're going to be stuck directly directly like on top of someone else you're going to be fighting all the time I dislike that it's not something that I like I like having room to get items and go it's so open that that never really happens it never really does at all but I don't know that's just kind of some that I want to throw out there it's and it's a good map. It's a really good map, actually, but... It's just kind of... Kind of boring in some aspects. It doesn't, it doesn't fulfill what I want it to, I guess. I don't know. Um... So, that's... I, I don't know. It's, it's an interesting concept, but really doesn't do that concept any good because of its <laughs> it's uh amount of openness it's 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 really good it's really good the middle's also really interesting because it has like parkour that you have to do to get up to it um but that's dig and number seven is cavern Cavern is one of the first maps that ever came out in Battle Mini Game itself, and we're in Array, which is a map that me and Rylan actually made. He kind of gave me, I gave him the idea, hey, you want to work on a Survival Games map, because we never done anything really Survival Games related together. He had the idea to do the sewer system, I did all really the building, he kind of had the idea for the house, I made it actually viable for, but it, it just never went. Uh, Cavern. Nice map. Really enjoy it. Recently, I've been liking it even more. The main reason is because of the crappiness that is... It's so freaking fun. If you've ever played Cavern and you had a decent amount of players, the best way to go is get maybe one or two chests in the middle. It doesn't matter if someone's already taking that stuff. You go straight for it. Rip all the stuff out of the chest. Go straight to the ring, get everything in the ring, and then you go for kills. Go play super passive and super, like, defensive. Then once you get your items, and once you get a decent weapon, you know, some armor, some food, maybe some potions. Healing potions are actually really good in this map. Then you go straight for kills. You go for max kills. Bows are very viable in this map as well. I've train myself to kind of mess around as much as possible because a lot of times people are kind of just like always camping and I really like to kind of have some extra some extra you know 
some extra loot. So I just mess around and just look for chests and stuff. And I've trained myself to kind of not go aggressive at the start. And it seems to work. I seem to get, you know, nice kills because I actually have loot. But, yeah, that's Cavern. It's been such a good map. And if you've never played it, I'm sorry for you. Please play the map. It is really fun. And um, quick tip, or not tip, but like quick thing to say about Cavern. It is really fun if you play like like play casual. Don't like go super try hard mode. A lot of times people say that I go try hard mode, but really I'm not. I just am playing the game and having fun. So yeah. Anyway, moving on. Number six, Frontier. Mostly everyone that I know likes Frontier. If you don't like Frontier, that's probably because you don't like playing defensively. And really, the only way you can play is kind of... It's really sporadic and just all over the place. And I really always find myself having to kind of like... You know... Find... A, a way through um through kind of everything i just have to always just do a bunch of stuff and parkour really big part of this map a lot of people like it because of the parkour you you can there's tons of places that you can go you can go on the train you can go to the saloon you can stay on top of the buildings you can go top of church you could go you stay in the middle if you want it's not that good because you're really really vulnerable to bow attacks and also you're really really vulnerable to kind of getting pounced on if somebody has feather falling or just regeneration on they would usually just jump off from a roof not even caring and then just beat the crap out of you and just you know it's not very fun you know what else isn't very fun though Back in the day, like when Fallout maps just came out, or the last map pack, I think it was Fallout, whatever the last map pack was, when that just came out, everyone picked Frontier. Still, even sometimes today, everyone just, everyone picks Frontier. It's always a hot freaking map, and it, it's so, it's, it's a fun map, but it's really not, like, people over, overthink it. It's, it's very fun. I think a texture pack would make it a bit better, honestly. It would be strong at this number six spot. Now it's just kind of like, eh, could be better, but you know. It, it's it's definitely a fun map, though. If you've never played Frontier, what are you doing, man? What are you really doing? Was that a... Okay, I thought that was like a stone noise for a second. Anyway, moving on to number five. Oh, here we go. Number five. Getting into the number five spot. This is a map that I've never been terrible at. Recent, well, I mean I have, but I'm saying I never really lose. I always play good in this map, and I've gotten like a freaking out of like I think it was six players, and there was two lives. I got I think every single kill I could possibly get, except I think one guy starved. But that doesn't matter. That guy doesn't count. Yeah, I think it was AFK too. Which makes it even worse. But whatever. Obviously we're on Fort Warden 5 because Fort Warden 5 is a castle. And so is Castle. Hence the name. Castle. Um, a lot of people don't like Castle for some reason. It's not a lot of people. It's just some people. I don't know who those people think they are. Castle's a great map. Camping the middle though. Mm, could be beneficial if... There's not that many players, but if it's a decent amount of players or just people who are really good at using bows, the middle is super vulnerable to bow attacks. So one of the least good middles or cornucopias or centers to kind of camp, so mid is not that good. But hey, um, I think there's actually something in here. Check, whoa. What 
what is this? You know what this is? It's pure, fresh. All right, never mind. Man, I got trolled hard, but whatever. Um, castle, great map. Okay, great freaking map. If somebody says that they don't like castle, that's probably because they're really bad at using a bow, which I don't blame them for. But man, I mean, I do blame them because you know, it, it, it's probably suck at using bows, but whatever. Um, yeah. Freaking castle's an amazing map. I always do good in it, and I usually try to play as aggressive as I can without dying. Um, I try to go for full melee mode, maybe even using strength, which I never use, but castle's a great map. That's why it's coming in at number five. Number freaking four is temple. If you don't like temple, you're an idiot. Alright, temple is so good. Such a good map never let me down I do lose in it a decent amount of the time not really that much but I do lose in it quite a bit more than most usual maps but whatever I still do pretty good in it most of the time but uh yeah middle middle's good um nice and fun to kind of just mess around with but most importantly we got to give it up to um to how just freaking fun it is to just run around, mess around, do whatever you want, just go ham, man, just go freaking ham. I really enjoy playing this map. It, Temple is just so, so good. And honestly, it should be, it should really be a map that gets, like, into the number of four spot it, it it's so good it is really really good have one complaint though it's um it's really how do i put this <laughs> really um i don't know exactly how what i would want to put this I guess it, it's it's almost too small for a higher player count. I mean, I don't. It's still a good map. It's still super fun. It always makes me laugh, and you know, always is awesome. But it's a bit too small for those higher player counts, especially if you have 16 max players. It's gonna be a bit less fun. But obviously, it's still it's freaking Temple Man. Come on. Number three, <laughs> we have Cove. This should have been a number one, all the way number one. For most people, this is one of the best maps in the game, if not the best. For me, it's fun, it's just, I don't know. It, the, it really does need a texture pack, the natural or even plastic would work for this thing. And it's overall a good map, really good map. Really, really fun. Always, always, always pleasure. Big, big, and you know, cove. Just having, having some fun, man. So nice. But um, yeah, that is the main problem. It's no texture pack. I, I like how? How can you get crazier than that? It literally. That's the only thing that I think really puts this at a major. You know like bad position everything else is so good it's a fun map it's fun to mess around it's fun to just do whatever cove is one of the best maps of history of anything it's so good and if you haven't played it i feel super sorry for you go play it now it's free it's officially the best free map i guess now so yeah Cove just is so fun with having all of the different areas to kind of mess around in. And that's why it comes in at number three, man. It is amazing. Coming in at number two, if you don't know what this is, honestly, there's two maps that it could be. One, the all-time champ trunk. 
everyone loves trunk it's easy to learn it's easy to play and it's a very good texture pack my favorite actually and then we have sh ship yard i almost said shipment shipyard which is a steampunk texture pack and the answer might shock you because it is actually shrunk that's coming in at number two We'll get to why Shipyard's the number one, but Shrunk, oh my god, is it an amazing map. I literally cannot stand when people pick this map anymore. Like, if you don't like Shrunk, if you pick this as one of the worst, you're, you're going to need to get immediately freaking, like, just find the nearest cliff, cliff and just say hi to the freaking bottom of the ground for me, please. The shrunk's amazing, okay? It's it's amazing. Main thing is the middle. Some people think it's underpowered. Some people think it's overpowered. I'm one of the people who think it's kind of in the middle, but I'm more levitating to the overpowered side. It's easy to kind of just camp directly in the middle and nowhere else, especially Food Central. This map is going to be a blast for those kind of people who stay only in, um, you know, the middle. The mid campers, I should say. But, um, man, it is always so fun to just, just kind of run around and have fun and just play. Um, shrunk. I, I can't say anything else, man. Just, just, that's it. So, I guarantee you, 97% of players would have thought. Hey, Shrunk's the best map. Why is it number two? And I like Shrunk. It's a nice map. But Ship Shipyard. Always say Shipment because that's a Call of Duty thing. But man, is Shipyard super duper duper fun. I remember just finding out that the actual texture pack is was actually good because... Well, I had the texture pack, and it was all nice and stuff, and then I played the map, and I was like, wow. Swords are easy to learn. Uh, melee weapons themselves are easy to learn. Armor, not so much. Um, especially the, like, the boots and stuff. I can get helmets kind of easy. Especially leather stuff that's super easy to debunk if you're just, like, looking around or whatever, but... Man... It is such a nice thing to have have a have an awesome map like this at number one at shipyard man it, it's what else could it be what else could it really really be I guess you could say oh well technically in my opinion this would be like at the bottom that's because you don't know how to do one parkour and two you probably don't really know how play battle mini game I'm just gonna throw it out there um like come on man you can't get better than this just take my money and leave it's it's amazing you're never gonna be able to change that you're never gonna be able to do anything about that it's my favorite map that's end of story Thanks for playing. That's that. I can't say anything else. Ship, shipyard is just like godly. It's amazing. And to add on to this, the middle is overpowered. So that makes it even more hated. So haha. Ha. Eat that, Fortnite players. Anyway, um, that's about it for today's video I just wanted to kind of obviously it's edited and everything so it's all cool um, but I just kind of wanted to throw that out there it's it's we're we're done that's all 21 maps ranked from worst to best this is probably gonna be a 30 long 30 minute long video or something close to that but hey whatever I will do more top something videos if you want to see them or maybe ranking videos if you want to see them on battle minigame or anything like that maybe even my personal maps they will probably be shorter but i just want to do this as a starting thing and see how all this goes and then maybe from there do some more 
different you know ranking videos so thank you guys for watching if you enjoyed please hit the like button because i don't know if this format is going to be a thing on the channel or not so give me your opinions in the comments what did you think about my listings were they good were they bad were they kind of in between was there any things that you totally agree or disagree with tell me that in the comments below anyway guys i'll see you next time